Hello ja hyvää päivää. Mä oon nyt täällä Heponiemme hiljaisuuden keskuksessa Karjalohjalla. Täällä on tarkoitus tulevaisuudessa järjestää monenkinlaisia juttuja. Ja mulla on tässä takana ehkä semmoinen kuukausi enemmän tai vähemmän lomailua, sillä en oo hirveästi ollut täällä somessakaan, mutta on tulossa nyt takaisin ja, ja tota, on tulossa paljon kivoja, kivoja juttuja. Uh, mutta tänään mulla olisi uh, erikoisvieras, kenen kanssa on saanut viettää jo eilen kokonaisen päivän. Janet Atwood viime kesänä esitteli mut uh, tälle japanilaiselle herralle, jonka esittelin kohta teillekin. Ja silloin ystävystyttiin ja uh, hän halusi tulla uudestaan Suomeen ja nyt ollaan eilen sitten vietty päivä yhdessä. Eli mulla on täällä Ken Honda, joka on siis Japanista. Hän on siellä erittäin menestynyt kirjailija. Hänellä on myös kirjoja, jotka on käännetty kansainvälisesti useille kielille. Kirjoittanut 60, yli 60 kirjaa. Ja näitä on myyty yli 8 miljoonaa kappaletta. Tietää tosi paljon kirjoittamisesta siis kyllä ja monista aiheista. Mutta erityisen tärkeä kirja hänelle tällä hetkellä on semmoinen kuin Happy Money. Eli se liittyy siihen, että miten me suhtaudutaan rahaan ja sitä suhdetta rahaan. Ja tästä Ken tulee tänäänkin puhumaan meille. Mutta hänen iso unelmansa on ollut nähdä revontulet. Hän kävi heinäkuussa eka kerran Suomessa. Ja, ja tota, hän sanoi, että hän tulee palaamaan myöhemmin, jotta hän näkisi revontulet täällä. Ja viime viikolla pääsi Levillä näkemään ne. Ja nyt mä oon näyttänyt sitten hänelle muita paikkoja. Eilen käytiin tapaamassa yhdessä Poutalan Mikaa ja Hyysalon Pekkaa. Ja, ja tota, tutustuttanut suomalaisiin hyvin tyyppeihin täällä ja sitten toin tänne mun nykyisin koti, kotimaisemmin Karjalohjalle. Ja jännitti, että mitä hän tykkää esimerkiksi tästä Heponiemen keskuksesta täällä näin, mutta oli tykännyt tosi paljon yöpöä täällä. Ja nyt mä ajattelin, että otetaan live ja, ja Ken saa kertoa enemmän omia ajatuksiaan. Ja nyt yksi hänen seuraava juttu, ja tämä on mikä inspiroi mua tosi paljon, hän sanoi, että hän kirjoittaa joka päivä. Sitten hän on kirjoittanut yli 60 kirjaa ja hän haluaa kirjoittaa niin kuin jatkossa lisää. Kirjoja. Ja yksi kirja on semmoinen, mikä liittyy Suomeen. Ja täällähän on siis oppimassa Suomesta ja suomalaisista ja tulee palaamaan tänne todennäköisesti vielä useita kertoja. Hän on totaalisesti rakastunut Suomeen. Mutta hei, tämän voisi sanoa, että pidemmittä puheita otetaan linjoille Ken Honda mukaan ja hän on siis täällä mun vieressä. Hello Ken! Hello, hi! Hi, kiitos, kiitos. And thank you so much. I'm happy to see you. Uh, my new newfound friend uh, Ilka is so generous to introduce me to all of you. I'm so happy to meet you and uh, um, I'm in love with Finland. I came here to see Northern Lights and uh, there are two dreams I had. Uh, see Northern Lights and also experience uh, sauna by the lake which you can probably see. Uh, Ilka, can you explain what it, yeah. what it is? <laughs> Eli toinen hänen oli äh, saunaa järven rannalla ja hän ajatteli, että tällä reissulla se ei onnistu, kun hän ajatteli, että hän on vain kaupungissa, mutta mä toinkin hänet tänne Karjalohjalle ja me eilen saunottiin siis täällä Heponiemme Hiljaisuuden keskuksessa olevassa lauttasaunassa. Se ei nyt ihan näy tänne päärakennukseen, <köhö> mutta se on, se on tuolla rannalla, Puujärven rannalla joka tapauksessa. Yeah, so... Uh... I had two dreams in Finland, Northern Lights crossed, uh, sauna by the lake crossed. So I'm here to study about Finland, um, I'm here to learn about uh, why uh, Finnish people are the happiest in the world. And now I know you get to see Northern Lights and you get to enjoy sauna every day. How can I be so uh, you know, uh, happy if you have those two? So uh, I'm enjoying every second of my life here and hopefully I'll bring my friends uh, from Japan to experience this gorgeous country here. So um, next time when I come back sometime next year, I want to meet you in person and teach me about uh, fi Finnish lifestyle. Yeah, that will be cool. <laughs> uh, let me know if you guys want Ken to come back. Uh, you can send uh, hearts if you want Ken to come <laughs> back to Finland. So. Uh, I already told them yeah. that uh, you've authored uh, plenty of books, uh, more than 60 books, mm -hmm. and I told that you have this Happy Money book. Yeah. And uh, 
would you share something about your uh, mm-hmm. idea with the happy money yes yeah, so uh, I have this unique background my father is a successful tax accountant and I became uh, financially independent when I was 29 so I had uh, four year of summary retirement for my baby girl who is now 24 and a, she's a singer um, I realized that there are two kinds of happy uh, money happy money and unhappy money happy money makes you smile when you receive it and when you spend it it also brings you joy unfortunately 95% of us are living in the flow of unhappy money when you receive it happy money unhappy money makes you feel irritated and when you spend the money you feel also afraid because your money will be gone and happy people and successful people have the life of happy money happy money is a flow that gives you joy and also when you spend the money that also happy money makes other people happy so the key to it is do what you love and if you do what you love and become very good at it there will be a flow of happy money that's what I teach and I've been experiencing by myself I love reading I love writing that's why I love this place I can uh, write uh, my books for hours here uh, both in Japanese and English uh, my next book is uh, how to stop worrying about money it's going to be released sometime in the next month or so uh, so uh, uh, money is such an interesting thing but unfortunately not many of us are, um, have been taught by our parents at school so when you reach 20 you don't know what to do with money and so my favorite question to you is if money was a person who would it be is that a scary person or indifferent person if you're happy and loving life a money is can be a best friend to you and do anything for you so um, I hope you find happy money in your life and enjoy the flow of happy money because that makes you very happy and also makes your family safe and uh, all the people who are connected to you uh, happy in a way and I think uh, Finnish people are already uh, finding happy money to some extent so I'm, I'm here not only to teach but also I'm here to learn so I hope to uh, see you in person next time <laughs> that's nice uh, so uh, can you share something yeah um, you said that the next book is about mm-hmm. how to stop worrying about money, right. and I think that's one of the starting points mm-hmm. to get happy money also that's true so do you want to share something about that okay sure so uh, people who worry about money uh, are looking toward the future that has no money uh, somehow so uh, you don't know why you're afraid why you worried but when you just uh, clarify the fog of unhappy uh, worry uh, there are probably a few things uh, uh, most people are afraid of the situation where you have no money so uh, just imagine like a few years uh, in the future you have no money and then suddenly you cannot breathe because you cannot pay the rent you cannot pay the bills but wait a second even though you are in a situation with no money uh, you may have friends that you can rely on and you may have uh, family members who can help and there may be uh, some kind of uh, government support that you can ask for so even though you um, happen to fall into this no money situation uh, you can come up with five solutions that you can think of then wait a minute maybe I should not worry about money so I have all the techniques that you um, you can get out of money worries for example the reason that I have no worries about money is you know I don't have any debt and I have enough money in the bank account but the bigger reason is I have so many friends so um, if I have a um, uh, financial problem I just knock on the door of my friends and say hey it's been a while can I uh, um, stay with you for one week and then after one week I can go to a friend number two and I have more than 50 friends so after about a year I can come back to my friend number one and say it's been a year how are you doing and can I stay with you for one, one more week and then uh, I can achieve financial independence so friends and uh, family members are the source of financial independence you don't have to be wealthy you don't have to be a millionaire billionaire 
uh, to stay out of money wars. That's what I teach. Uh, th that, that is good. I think uh, many people who don't have money enough, who have the uh, money worries, they might think that the worries will be gone if if they just have more money. Mm. Uh, and they might think that uh, and believe that those people who have money a lot, mm -hmm. they don't mm -hmm. have money worries. Right. I is that true? That I know you have a lot of money. Yeah. Do, do you have money worries? Yeah, so that is a question that I ask uh, wealthy people. You know, wealthy people have money worries because uh, even though they have a lot of money in the bank account, their expenses are very high too. I, I know a millionaire who was complaining about that uh, uh, jet fuel price is going up. <laughs> so like, uh, he, he was complaining, you know, my jet plane, uh, jet fuel is so expensive. You know, for me, why don't you sell your jets? <laughs> and then you fly commercial, even the first class doesn't cost you so much. So if you are wealthy, all the expenses will also go, go up too. And like a regular people, the same thing. If your income goes up, your expenses go up too. So uh, you have to be very careful. Um, uh, there are only two things in money problems. You make too little money or you spend too much. So uh, unless you have this control, you cannot stay away from money worries. You know, Even though you become a millionaire or billionaire, unless you, your know, relationship with money changes, uh, you constantly have to worry. So um, to stay out of worry, you have to find peace with uh, yourself and also with money. Hmm. That is a good idea. Um, uh, would you, about the uh, happy money concept, um, uh, Ken has also this uh, online course on in Mind, Mind Valley, mm -hmm. and I've been going through that, so I know many of these practices that Ken has, but if you can would uh, share something where to start to build this mm -hmm. uh, happy money relationship. Yeah, so um, just um, I, I ask you to open up your wallet, your credit card, or look at the bills. What kinds of emotions do you feel? If that is a happy, positive one, that's great. And if you feel like uneasy about money or you don't want to take a look at the bills, um, that means that you have some financial and also emotional issues. So ideal situation is when you look at the bills, you, 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 you feel happy. Oh, now I have all the money in the bank that I can pay the bills. And uh, at the restaurant, when you see a, um, a check, you say, oh, I'm so happy to take this opportunity to express my appreciation to the waiter, the cook, and the people who grow vegetables and meat. And uh, your happy money uh, enriches everybody um, around. So that is, that is happy attitude. So uh, the easy thing you can do is to start appreciating your money. I call it Arigato Your Money Technique. Uh, my mentor, Wahe Takeda, who used to be called uh, Warren Buffett of Japan, my mentor was one of the uh, richest men in Japan. And he was a major shareholder of more than 100 public companies. And he said, the key to happiness uh, is arigato your money. That means appreciate your money coming in and going out. So when co money comes into your life, just say thank you, uh, kudos to money. And then when you spend the money, also say thank you. Because the, in exchange for money, you receive food, you receive electricity, you receive something else. So even though we feel like the gas prices and electricity, <coughs> all those things are getting more expensive, that may upset you. But uh, if you stay appreciate, uh, appreciative about the electricity in the house and the gas and everything in your life, that appreciation brings more happiness and opportunities. And I think um, Finnish people already have that mentality. That's why I think you guys are the happiest in the world. And I think we have to learn from the attitude uh, of Seth. Is, um, I'm learning um, Finnish uh, books. And uh, that, those are something that I'm fascinated to learn. So Good. Thank you. That is something where to start. And I, I think this is really important. Uh, and I was so happy 
to meet Ken now and and we're gonna do this little talk because the, all the prices are going up at the moment mm -hmm. uh, and people have I can feel that many people have more than ever ever different kind of um, money worries mm -hmm. for example I know some of my friends who have been uh, always really good with money but now all the prices are going higher and they also f feel some kind of worries and frustration so um, in this world situation where mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. uh, is there something that you would like to say to the people in Finland mm. uh, in this where we don't know where we are mm -hmm. in the in the coming months the electricity might be really much higher mm -hmm. and many other prices we can see here the price of food is going up all mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. so uh, there was I, I liked your things the appreciation now many people hate their bills when they get <laughs> bills they hate that they get the bills and may not uh, remember mm -hmm. where the bill came from oh it's paying the electricity and yeah. I can enter many things mm -hmm. for that um, so there was already good things but uh, is there something special that you want to say in this uh, economic situation we yeah have? yeah sure sure so I understand everything is getting uh, worse in terms of the prices going up and your salary may not go up as, as high as you want. And this is a time when you become uh, creative. Um, so uh, there may be things that you wanted to do, but you haven't. Say, start teaching, start uh, sharing about your uh, therapy, massage, or counseling, or coaching, whatever the skills you had, you, you haven't used. Are waiting to be used so this financial uh, not crisis but this pinch uh, gives you the opportunity to look at your financial life and then become more creative to receive more happy money so uh, the, the gift question to you is what can I do more to receive uh, more happy money so uh, by using your gifts you can be very creative and come up, uh, come up with some fun ideas you know i've taught uh, hundreds of thousands of people uh, myself uh, about how to increase your income by finding your gifts you may be good at speaking you may be good at listening either way you can make a lot of money uh, some people are good at talking for example i used to teach sales people uh, insurance people there are two kinds of insurance people one category who is very fluent who is very good at speaking and persuading the, the other one is the best listener he or she is good at listening to his or her clients so you can be successful by speaking or also the other way is you can be successful by listening by speaking you can be a coach you can be a speaker like Ilka uh, that is one way of success the other one uh, you can be successful by listening you can be a counselor you can be also a coach by listening so uh, if you're good at speaking you go that way if you're good at listening you go that way so uh, you don't have to think that I don't have any gifts so I cannot do anything 20 years ago I was a retired happy daddy who doesn't know uh, what to do and but one day I had this inspiration to write but I never took any writing lessons. Uh, lessons. I was. Uh, I had this uh, law degree and I had uh, accounting background. But there's no way I could write. But this inspiration came through me. So I started writing about happiness and money. And that uh, two pages went into uh, 26 pages of small booklet. And I started sharing with my friends. And it got uh, by word of mouth. It became very popular. So I printed 3,000, another 3,000 for giveaway, and that became a book, and the rest is a history. It became a national bestseller, and as a result, I, I sold 8 million copies of my books, and 2 million gift copies are in print. So when I think of that, in, in the country of Finland, there are two physical books that per each Finnish person, including baby and old people, uh, I became very successful by following my heart. So uh, if you feel the pinch uh, financially, come up with some ideas so you can contribute to other people. By doing that, you don't have to worry about money for the rest of your life. 
because people love you for doing what you love and then people come to you for counseling or other opportunities that、um, you can take on and life is full of、uh, fun mysteries that you can solve so、uh, the money worries is like a knock on the door of your no- new life that's what I think thank you Ken and I, I love that idea that we can't control the prices yeah That is not what we can do, but we can,、uh, we can always do something how to、uh, get more money.、Mm-hmm. And we can always get creative and find out something. And that's something that I feel that many people don't think. They have their job where they go, and, and the salary stays the same, but their bills are getting higher、right. and they don't know what to do. But that's the time to get creative. Some people might think that, oh, I'm not creative. <laughs> but There's a lot of things that they can do. Yeah, so if you learn that there are other creative people out there who didn't believe in themselves,、mm. who didn't have a high self image, but, but when you hear it, like, oh, that's me, maybe I can do it, I think it's a good start.、Mm. So you don't have to be a genius, you don't have to be a superstar, but、uh, you can be curious about your life. You know, I was curious 20 years ago、um, what if I start pursuing my writing career? I thought, no way. I asked my mother, do you think I, be- I can become a writer? And she was laughing. <laughs> Are you okay? And my, my father, and my brother, and my sister, and my, all my friends didn't think that I, I can be a writer, and including my wife. And、uh, my best friend believed in me. He said, I think your writing is great. And I'm like, really? No, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> But so you need to have somebody believe in you. So that's why I think、uh, having great friends who believe in you is、uh, very important and far more important than money in the bank because、um, he or she can give you a boost so、um, you do more of what you do. And at the、uh, beginning stage, you don't get paid. So don't expect to get paid so high. So、uh, uh, early stage is like sharing. And after sh- you share enough, people start saying, like, Can I、uh, give you money? Or, Uh, can I take you to dinner? And that will turn into happy money eventually. So don't rush, but start getting curious, creative about your, your future. And that way、um, you are more excited about your life. And then、um, a lot of fun、uh, things happen. You know, I, I wrote them in my book series.、Uh, hopefully, I'll translate them into English. Very good. I love that idea. Yeah, the curious, curiosity. Yeah. Being curious about life and opportunities and whatever ideas you have, be curious and just start from somewhere. Right. Yeah. I think that's great. I can give you guys a little summary in Finnish.、Uh, oh, yes, that, please. No, but is there something, Ken, that you want to add、uh, when you're coming back to <laughs> Finland or、yeah. what, whatever you want to tell? Oh, I just love Finnish people.、Uh, kiitos, kiitos, kiitos. I'm writing a book, Why I Fell in Love with Finland. So、uh, I hope、um, it's going to become a national bestseller in Japan. And I'm going to write in English too. I hope、uh, more people will learn about Finnish、uh, culture. And I think、we'll, uh, if all the people could learn、uh, the essence of Finnish people,、um, all of us on the planet can benefit. So,、um, I, th- I hope you have more confidence that you live in a great culture. And I have a huge respect for you and、uh, hopefully to see you in, in, in person. Thank you. Kitos, kitos. Thank you for your <laughs> kind words and thank you for your、uh, friendship. And thank you. Now, hey, s o l l y Ken Honda、uh, with Katsok、uh, Instagram, Mr. Ken Honda. Ja tota, mä annan pienen yhteenvedon siitä, että mitä Ken antoi vinkkiä. Ensinnäkin tämä happy money, onnellinen raha juttu, niin se, että voit lähteä rakentaa semmoista parempaa suhdetta, tai ensinnäkin tutki sitä, että otat lompakon ja, ja tota, tunnustele sitä fiilistä, mikä tulee niin rahasta. 
korteista, INE, tai jos sä katsot sun tiliä ja pankkitiliä, niin mikä fiilis siitä tulee, että onko se hyvä vai huono fiilis. Ja sitten pystyy lähteä rakentamaan sitä. Ja kiitollisuus, se, että kiittää rahasta, sekä siitä ulos menemästä rahasta, millä maksat laskuja, tai ostat ää, ruokaa tai mitä vaan, ja sitten olla kiitollinen myöskin siitä rahasta, minkä sä saat. Ja, ja tämän, tästä hän kertoo, että hän on oppinut sen yhdeltä hänen mentoriltaan, joka on yksi Japanin menestyneimpiä ja rikkaimpia ihmisiä, ja hän sanotaan Japanin Warren Buffettiksi. Ja sitten ää, oli idea siitä, että miten lopettaa murehtiminen rahan kanssa, mikä oli ää, ää, mun mielestä hyvä idea se, että jos sua pelottaa se, että mitä jos jossakin vaiheessa rahat loppuu, niin se, että jo nyt miettii sitä, että mitä sä voit tehdä siinä tilanteessa, jolloin sä saat sen tämän hetken murheen pois. Ja mun on tosi tärkeä juttu, koska jos sun energia menee nyt niin siihen murehtimiseen, niin sit sä et pysty kunnolla keskittymään nyt niihin asioihin, mitä sun on hyvä tehdä, jotta sitten niin selviää siellä tulevaisuudessa. Ja tästä hetkestä vielä mä kysyn, että mikä olisi vinkki, kun tällä hetkellä hinnat vaan nousee, mutta palkka ei välttämättä nouse, niin hänen vinkkinsä oli se, että alkaa jollakin tavalla luoksi ja lähtee siis miettimään ratkaisuja, että miten voi jollakin tavalla ansaita lisää rahaa. Ja tässä ää, mä haluaisin tsempata sua ja luottamaan itseesi ja niin kun, että se voi olla mikä tahansa juttu. Ja niin kuin Ken sanoi, alusta lähtien sen ei tarvitse tuottaa, mutta sä voit lähteä rakentaa jotain, ää, jotain sen ympärille, mitä sä jo osaat tai mikä kiinnostaa sua tehdä ja, ja rakentaa semmoinen oma, oma lisätuo. Tämmöisiä ajatuksia. Ja Ken tosiaan äh, kertoo myöskin, että hän on rakentamassa tätä kirjaa, äh, kirjoittamassa kirjaa miksi hän rakastui Suomeen ja, ja tota, toivoi, että siitä tulee sitten uusi Japanin bestseller. Ja, ja tota, ä, hän kertoi, että oh, haluaisi okay. mahdollisimman moneen tutustuvan suomalaisiin, että siitä olisi hyötyä kaikille, kaikille ihmisille. Tosi kauniita sanoja siis meistä suomalaista. Mutta mahtavaa, siis on ollut kiva päästä tutustumaan Keniin ja tullaan tekemään varmasti paljon yhteistyötä. Mä en ole ikinä käynyt Japanissa, mutta tota, ollaan sovittu, että mä lähden käymään sitten myöskin Japanissa jossakin vaiheessa. Eli ei jaetaan ää, yhteisiä juttuja tässä. Ja Ken tulee varmasti monta kertaa vielä tänne, koska hän on nyt tosiaan hyvin rakastanut tähän maahan. Mutta hei, kiitos tästä yhteisestä päivähetkestä. Tämä tulee vielä videona tonne YouTuben puolelle ja Instagramiin, jos hyppäsit jossakin välissä mukaan, niin pääset katsoa tämän myöhemmin kokonaisuudessaan. Ja Kenistä tosiaan saa lisää tietoa, kun laitat tota, ää, Googleen Ken Honda tai sitten tota Instagramista etsit Ken Honda. Mä laitan ne tähän sitten tallenteen alle, kyllä. Mutta hei, me lähdetään jatkaa matkaa. Me lähdetään Hämeenlinnaan. Siellä on äh, meillä elämäsi vuoteen kulma valmennus, äh, valmennusviikon loppu. Ja Ken tulee yllätysvierana siellä käymään nyt sitten meidän elämäsi vuosi valmennuksessa oleville. Ja, ja tota, äh, Jatketaan matkaa. Mä laitan myöskin tulemaan kutsua. Mulla on ensi viikolla synttärit ja, ja tota, ne on semmoiset avoimet synttärit Helsingissä kahdeksas päivä torstaina. Niin seuraa mun some saa tulla käymään, jos oot Helsingissä päin, niin tulla moikkaamaan. Ja, ja tota, ei tarvi ilmoittaa eikä mitään, saa vaan ilmestyä paikalle. Se on mun tapa järjestää tämmöisiä avoimia synttäreitä. Ja nytten ähm, alun perin piti jo pitää nuoren kirjan julkkarit, niitä mä en pitänyt tässä, otin siis äh, jonkun verran, tarttin itse semmoista omaa aikaa, niin otin tuossa ihmisen kuukauden siihen. Ja, ja tota, nuoren kirjalle on tulossa julkkarit tammikuussa. Mutta kiitos kaikille, jotka olette hankkinut Samta Hot nuoren kirjaa, ja se on yksi tärkeä lahja myöskin tänä jouluna antaa nuorille. Eli käy katsoa samtahalot.fi kautta nuoren kirja. Ja jos käyt vielä ostaa nyt, niin siinä on myöskin kivoja bonuksia, joita on jatkettu vielä. Mutta hei, me lähdetään jatkamaan matkaa. Niin iso kiitos, että olit mukana tässä liveessä. Ja nähdään taas pian uudestaan. All right. All right. So, uh... Kiitos, kiitos. <laughs> kiitos, kiitos. Kiitos, kiitos. Me sanotaan täällä moikka. Kaikkea parasta sun päivää. Moi. Moi.